Each TMS shelter is packaged in a set of three bags and a case. A canvas bag, a bag for the shelter's upper structure, a bag for the shelter's legs and the guying case for the assembly. A team of two to four operators is needed according to the model of the shelter. Position the frame aligned with the longitudinal axis of the required shelter position. Define a mounting surface of 5mm by 10mm for the TMS-18 model, 8mm by 10mm for the TMS-36 model and 11mm by 10mm for the TMS-54 model. Place the canvas bag 3 meters away from the ridge perpendicular to the tent's longitudinal axis. Unfold the roof frame assembly by pulling the roof arches while leaving the ridge hinges resting on the ground. Raise the roof frame upright so it is resting on the eave mechanisms. Remove the bag and securely stow. Using two persons, lift gable and extend fully until eave beams lock into place in a horizontal position. Slide the Velcro strap down and release the ridge purlins. Repeat until whole frame is extended to full length. When the pieces are assembled, apply the Velcro band across the connection to secure. Repeat this procedure for the second ridge purl inset. The last operator places legs on each side of the frame. Using three persons, remove arch retaining pins and simultaneously extend. When holes in telescoping sections align, replace pins, ensuring rings are on the inside of the frame. Apply locking pins to secure. Repeat this procedure on the opposite side. At this time of assembly, it is important to determine the position of the pulley on the ridge. If the pulley is on the right side of the axle, start by raising the right-hand set of legs. Each operator takes a leg and stands in front of its mounting position. Check to properly position each leg with the cleats facing outwards, away from the structure. The operators support the frame from below, whilst simultaneously lifting and sliding leg onto the corresponding lug at the base of each eave mechanism. Open the canvas bag and unroll the outer skin fabric the full length of the roof assembly. Remove the bag and securely stow. Pass the red ropes up through the ridge hinge on the frame. Place the ropes on the pulleys, then bring them from the top of the crane to the cleat. Loosely wedge the rope in the lower cleat. Fully unfold the outer skin until the cords attached along the ridge line of the outer skin are visible. Pick up the blue cords and pass them through the ring of the mechanism. Place the ropes over the eaves bar adjacent to the mechanism and pull the end of the ropes two inches past the cleats and lock them. Repeat the procedure for the opposite side of the shelter before raising shelter to full height. Remember that the cleats must be positioned outside the structure and that the assembly must be synchronized. Locate the black elastic cords attached to the outer skin near each strap. Place the elastic band around the pin located at the bottom of each leg assembly. Pull the end of the blue ropes two inches past the leg cleats and lock them. The operators then install the tension straps without twisting them on the rings attached to the frame corners. Repeat the steps on the other side. Pull the red cords simultaneously to raise the ridge line of the outer skin. To increase leverage, put one foot on the leg and use body weight to pull canvas all the way to the top of the frame. After the outer skin is pulled to its maximum height, wedge the black cord in the cleat and secure. Pull the blue ropes to deploy the eave sections of the canvas and then wedge them in the remaining cleats. Pull on the tension straps and attach the mid-height elastics. Tighten the fabric to the maximum to avoid water pooling and minimize the wind buffeting effects. Repeat this step on the other side.
At this stage of the assembly, foot height can be adjusted if required. To do this, remove the pin, lift the foot slightly, remove the axle, adjust the height, then replace the axle and its locking pin. The standard position is at the fifth hole, ensuring an ideal tension of the fabric. For the guying operation, the doors must first be closed. For optimum tension of the inner floor, pull opposing legs outwards simultaneously until the inner floor is free of wrinkles. In general, make sure that the tent is well tensioned externally and internally. Stake all the feet using the hit provided. Attach the guying straps to the corner rings of the frame and stake each at 45 degrees, approximately 2 meters from the foot position. Complete the operation by adjusting the tension of each strap. The doors can be rolled and strapped as follows. This operation is done by two operators. To carry out this operation, the three tension ropes must be partly loose. Attach the interior electric cabinet to one of the attachment rings with the carabiner. Draw the cable outside by the plug and connect it to a power supply. Hang the lamps on either side of the tent on the central cord with the carabiners. And connect their plugs. Pull the tension ropes. 